Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today I just want to do a quick Q&A because I thought it was a pretty good uh, question that came about. And uh, it really just asks me, uh, Digital Asset News, or my name's Rob, to take a look at a subscriber's portfolio. I thought it was a pretty good idea. And I think if this goes pretty well, depending on the interest, I think I'm going to open this up to everybody because I think it's a it's a pretty cool idea. So uh, first of all, today, just so you know, for reference, it's uh, January 26th, about 8 a.m. El Paso, Texas time. And uh, I just thought this was pretty cool. So it says it was a it was a uh, message I got. It says, hey, Rob. Hi, my name's Tom. I've been watching your channel since November. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it because that's exactly when I started in November 2019, which is crazy. Uh, it says, per your advice, I have been DCAing for more than a year now, first of all, not financial advice, but it's a pretty good idea. That's what I do, dollar cost average. If you want to do it, that's all you, Tom, but uh, thanks. He says, uh, my portfolio has reached $420,000 as of today. That's pretty damn good. According to many crypto experts, including yourself, debatable, we are at the bottom of a massive bull run for the rest of this year. So I'm extremely excited about that. If you had the time, you think it's appropriate, could you take a look at my portfolio below and assess my potential by the end of the year? What are my chances of becoming a multimillionaire? Thanks for being a very honest, rational, and highly intuitive educator of crypto, Tom. Well, first of all, Tom, thanks for reaching out. That's pretty great of you. I appreciate that. What he's talking about here is this could be the year. And I've always said this, I believe 2021 is going to be the year. Why do I say this? Because everything goes in cycles. And not that we are guaranteed to go in this cycle, but it's happened the last you know 10 years. So I'm thinking uh, I got a pretty good shot here. So it always goes like this. Uh, it all kind of comes off with Bitcoin. So you have a halving, the rewards that the miners get are cut in half. And that happened in 2012. Then the very next year, because there is now more of a scarcity, you've got an all-time high. And that's exactly what happened in 2013. Then you have a massive dip the next year, and you have a reset or whatever thing goes sideways, which has happened in 2015. Same thing happened in 2016, having 2017, massive all-time high. 2018, big dip. And then for 2019, we kind of moved sideways, a little bit ups and downs, but uh, just a little bit of a reset. And the same thing happened or is happening uh, now, so 2020, just had the halving in May 2020. I believe we are due for an all-time high. And then 2022, a massive dip and a reset. So when we take a look at what's going on here, at the end of 2020, we were at uh, around almost 30,000. And we think, wow, look at that. Uh, it's just so huge. Well, it's really not. We need to look at it like this because that's what it's been the last you know, eight years, 10 years, nine years, whatever it is. And that's where we're at. So 2021, I believe, is going to be uh, just ginormous. So if that's the case, let's uh, take a look at Tom's portfolio. And I have to tell you, it's looking pretty good. This guy's almost got half a million in uh, in cryptocurrencies and digital assets. So Tom, uh, tip of the hat, good job. So this is what we've got. And looks like Tom here is pretty darn heavy on VeChain, which he's a big believer. I'm a big believer in VeChain because it has real world functionality. I believe that we're going to need a lot better tracking. Even Walmart knows this is going to happen. And they actually trialed uh, tracking on the blockchain. And instead of it taking like days for, for them to uh, track produce and items and different things that they're actually shipping across the country, it took them seconds to find. So imagine doing this, not just for tracking that, but also for counterfeits, also for medication, also for things that are either are heat sensitive or they have to be there in a certain amount of time in a certain amount of way, like a vaccine or something like that. I think that would be a pretty good idea to have. So VeChain, I can see, and Tom here has got almost 6 million VET. So that's pretty good. Bitcoin, he's got uh, two, almost you know a little over two and a half. Cardano, he's got 224,000. That's a lot. Algo, 31,000. Voyager token, one of my uh, top picks for 2021. Uh, 14,000 itself, Ethereum 10 and a half, Chainlink, CeeLo, Polkadot, each other. Okay, so this is the actual portfolio. So I'm gonna make two things. First of all, I'm not a financial analyst or a financial planner, so this is not financial advice, obviously. I'm just some guy who likes cryptocurrency digital assets and has been around for a little bit of a time, and I, I uh, this is one of my passions. So I will just take a look at this and go, if this was my portfolio, here's what I would do. First of all, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change too much here. If you have this money already in, then you can do what's called a rebalance and say, well, I think this is going to go up, so I'm going to put it in there. A lot of people, they like to invest into altcoins so they can just dump it all into Bitcoin. I think that's not a good idea. 
in the long run because I think if you think Bitcoin's going to go up to a million dollars this year, sure, okay, then you know go for it. But I like to diversify. Uh, I invest into crypto. I invest uh, into stocks. I invest into precious metals, gold and silver. I invest into real estate. I invest in the land. I'm not stuck on one thing because that's putting all your eggs in one basket, I think is not a great idea. Now, the returns aren't so fantastic on all those like gold. I'm not going to get a ton of return, but hey, uh, it's it is just it's just a diversification what I want to do. So for this one, for Tom, what I would say uh, is if this was me, I'd probably want to put a little bit more in Ethereum because I think that personally, Ethereum's going to go to 10,000. Also, VeChain I wouldn't touch because you already have it in there. So why take it out right now? And besides, if you just started to, to buy and purchase, if you start to sell right now, you're going to be subject to long or short-term capital gains, which could be up to 38, 42%, even higher, uh, depending on the state that you live in. So I wouldn't do that at all. Uh, Cardano, I would. That's a pretty great uh, amount that you have. I wouldn't uh, touch that again for the whole thing that I'm selling or talking about. I would increase my Voyager because I again I think that if right now it's at a dollar, I think it's going to 30. That's a 30x. You can't beat that. Uh, Ethereum is around a thousand. That's a 10x right there. Chainlink, honestly, I think I'm a little bit low. And if if you are new to the channel, first of all, welcome. I'm sorry I skipped over too much, but this is what we're talking about is my 2021 price predictions. And I will link this at the very end. And again, I'm not big into making crazy ass predictions. I just don't do that. But uh, what I try to do is keep keep myself grounded. So like I said, Bitcoin, I got it going to 150,000 this year. I'm not talking about 2028 or five or whatever. Uh, I'm talking about this year, 150K, Ethereum 10K, chain length 35. And people say this is probably my my worst pick. <laughs> they think that it's going to 100 and i hope i'm wrong i hope i'm wrong this is just a conservative me cardano three dollars theta ten dollars celsius da, 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 da. and i have all these in a row and the probability i think bitcoin zero to ten or ten is the most probable it'll happen i got it as a 10. the other one i have is theta and i and i, I explain why i believe all these things in the video you can watch that later but for tom here I don't know much about CeeLo. I don't know a ton about Algorand. All I hear is that it's going to be big. But if you look hard enough, <laughs> every crypto project is going to be enormous. That's just how it is. Uh, you'll if if you want to find that you know your beliefs, then just look in YouTube and just. Just, just type in Algorand of the Moon, it'll come up. Type in Tron to the Moon, it'll come up. Type in uh, Polka Dot to the Moon, it'll come up. So I'm, I'm not sure in this one, and I can't speak to that. So I'm just going to say, just keep it as is. The only thing I would change is I would put more into Ethereum because everything's built on Ethereum, so why not? And uh, also, I would put more into Voyager. That is me personally. So what I want to do right now is just say, okay, Tom, what you have now based on, whoops, my predictions themselves about where it's going to go at the end of this year. If we could take a look at that and extrapolate it, then where would we be or where would Tom be if this all pans out to my conservative predictions? So this was a great question, I thought. So what I did was uh, before the video, I just put this together. It's the, it's, it's, we're going to use this for portfolio review. So send in your portfolio and I'll tell you, you know, some suggestions that I would do for my, if it was my portfolio. I'm not telling you what to do, just telling you what I would do. So what I want to do is just say, okay, so Tom here's got, he has 2.68 uh, current holdings of Bitcoin. And I think the prediction is going to be at 150,000. So you take 2.68 times 150,000, you get 402,000. So if uh, that pans out, I think it could, then Tom would be a pretty happy guy uh, because he's got that. Now, to make this super simple, this is just a formula. If you want to do this, you just click on any cell and I'm using uh, Google spreadsheets. And if you want to do a formula, you just type in equal and then whatever you want to do like ethereum you would do like b3 you put a star uh, a thousand and then just and then it would equal that so that would be the formula 10.5 times 10,000 you get 105,000 now if you want to make it simple like i have the formula right here already all you got to do is just just drag it like this and it'll it'll pre-populate all the numbers for you which is pretty cool so now we got 10.5 times 10,000, 105,000. His chain link, he's got 4 and a 9. I think he's going to 35. It's 14.3. Cardano, I think he's going to 3 bucks. That's 672,000. And 
VeChain is his big hold, which he's got five, almost 5.8 million. I think it's going to a quarter. That's going to give him 1.5 million. Voyager at, for his 14,000 uh, times 30, that's going to give him 438,000. Wow. So this is, I wanted to show everybody this because it's the power of diversification. Diversification, excuse me. It's not like I want him to do this or, or this is what I want you to do. This is what I would do. And I think if you do something like, like this, you don't have to have all of these be winners. And you just have to have one big winner, uh, a couple kind of winners, and then maybe a couple disappointments, but you'll still come out okay because it's a lot easier than just going, nope, this is the one. I'm doing this one all the way down and I don't care. And you saw that which with what happened with XRP. Uh, XRP could still be enormous this year. I have no idea, but it's not looking too good. So if you want to wait around for another four years, that's cool. I mean, you can, but let's take a look at what we could potentially do for this bull run without the SEC suing the pants off us and our project. That's why I like to spread things around. So this is everything that we got. I'm going to go over Algorand and CeeLo v, uh, Thor token a bit, but let's just take a look here. I'm going to take this, go down to here, and we take a look at the sum he's looking at 3 million uh, right here. So he's got 3 million. So yes, Tom would be a multimillionaire if these price predictions come true. And again, these are uh, conservative numbers. Now for Algorand, I again, I don't really get into that one. And CeeLo and Beaching Thor, there was a website I found called Digital Coin. And if you think I give conservative numbers, then this one is super conservative. So like, this one for uh, Ethereum, it thinks, okay, for 2021, this is the max is going to go, 1865, 2022, 2031. It's saying that not until 2028 will we reach 5850. It says the same thing for Bitcoin. For my prediction, 150K, it says that the, it, that Bitcoin is going to top out at 50K and then it's going to be 150K in 2028. I don't think, I mean, maybe, who knows, but uh, I don't think that's uh, true. So let's take a look at Algorand. Let's just get some kind of like uh, basic price prediction they're super conservative i think it's like spit yeah it's it's 60 cents right now they're saying it go to 90 cents okay great so 90 cents let's put that in 0 0.9 all right and then CeeLo. let's go back and look at CeeLo. right now it's 318 this one says it's gonna go to 461 sure whatever so i'm gonna put 461 and then vthor token it's at 0, 0.00 it's like a penny and this one says well it's gonna go up to two pennies all right or no Excuse me, fractions of a penny, 0 0.002, not too good. Well, that's just, that, that's uh, Vthor, so. So we'll go 0 0.002. And then again, over here, we'll just drag this down. And then voila, you've got, so on top of this 3 million, Tom's gonna get maybe 28, 43, 45, another 45,000, which I don't think he really needs because he's already a multi millionaire, but good for him. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's kind of where I see things potentially going. And then lastly, I want to talk about another thing, which is it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So we have to be prepared about where are we stashing all of our crypto and digital assets? Are we putting it all on the exchanges? Are we putting it all on our uh, nano ledgers? So really, this is actually going to lead off into uh, one of the videos that I just recently did, which was called Have a Plan. And I talk about what are you going to do with all these massive gains that are coming your way? Because like Tom here, he's got three million. So if he sits on it, I mean, you can do that. But there is a there's a pretty good chance that next year, 2022, might see a massive dip and you might lose all that. So maybe you want to do what I talk about in this video, which is start to transfer uh, some of your gains into a stable coin and then stick it there. And then also uh, other things like putting it into uh, like a Celsius or a Voyager where you can gain yield. And this is uh, my face where I try to do my best, <laughs> which are those, those, you know, all the different YouTubers out there that uh, not just in crypto world, but like, like every other YouTuber, they always got their mouth open, like that home alone face. It just, it's just funny to me. And I just, and I was like, I, I should do that. And I, and I try to do it. <laughs> And this was the this was the, the the face I came up with, so I uh, just I can't do it. So, but um, just so you knew, if you were going to go into stable coins, uh, either using Voyager or Celsius, this is the exchange of wallet fees. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this, but if you don't know, in the description of all my videos, there's going to be a link. It's going to look uh, somewhere underneath here. 
the Exchange and Wallet recommendations. You click on this, it's going to take you to the Exchange and Wallet fees itself. And you can take a look at all the different rates that uh, Voyager and Celsius has. Honestly, uh, Celsius has the better rates uh, usually, and, and Voyager is right behind there. But just for like something like uh, USDC, ah, it's right here. Uh, this one right here, USDC, you get 8% APY. And then uh, over on uh, Celsius, you get 13.86% if you want to get paid in Celsius. Or if you're like, you know what, just pay me back in USDC, you know, kind for kind, as they call it. So then you get almost 11%. So again, what I usually do is I use Voyager to buy all my buy almost all my crypto, honestly. And then I'll transfer over to Celsius uh, whenever I not so damn lazy, and then I can get better rates. But uh, sometimes I just leave it on there and that's just how it goes. So, so that leads me to my last point, which is talking about where do you store all this stuff? Because you know you can you can store everything on a ledger. That's fine, you can store it on a ledger. I mean, we had that, um, that information hack, but the ledger itself uh, is bulletproof so far. No one has ever hacked a nano ledger, ever. Now, they did something goofy where they left a lot of people's personal information and that got hacked. So people's name, address, and phone number, which I think is horrible. I'm not going to say that's great. That's just awful. But there, no cryptocurrency was stolen. So that is at least one good thing, but it could lead to other things. So, But for right now, you could put it on a ledger. It's very safe. But uh, the question is then, well, how do I get this APY? And, you know, because it's on a ledger, because you can't get uh, interest standing on a ledger. So this is just what I do. Again, not fancy advice but these are the places where i put all my crypto and digital assets and it looks something like this i mean this is as simple as i possibly could so uh real quick uh, if you break this down let's let's start with the smallest one one percent one percent is in brave and that's what i use for my uh, mu my my ether wallet connection so i put that on there just so i can do like uh, demos and things like that for you guys uh, just kind of makes sense then the next uh, highest one is on exchanges i leave about 14 percent of the exchanges and you know why uh, it's because sometimes i have recurring buys that i just sometimes just forget about sometimes they're like every once a week or once a month and uh it, they'll come in i'm like oh i gotta transfer those and for every one time sometimes they are on kraken gemini or eh, coinbase but coinbase it, it could be because of uh, whatever else i have on there that i just got to keep get taken off so that's really it's on kraken and gemini and that's about 14 percent. the next biggest one is on celsius and obvious it's, it's an obvious case because if i can transfer things to celsius and they can pay an interest that's a pretty good deal and they haven't been hacked either they had a dns attack which i had alex in the show i've had him on the show like twice and uh, he explained very thoroughly you can check out that video it's and he, and he goes about and he talks about exactly how celsius earns yield and i had to drill him on it but he gave me three reasons so definitely check that video out i'll link it at the end if i uh, i'll put that in there and then the next highest one is voyager i like voyager i like the token obviously what we just talked about uh and it's safe. It hasn't been hacked either. They had an issue where they had to shut everything down for like 12 hours, but they did it and they there was no hack whatsoever. So a lot better than a lot of these different exchanges, even a Binance who has been hacked before. And again, Voyager to me, like I say, it's like the hotels.com. It's like you can go and find a hotel. You can go right to the hotel and go, I want to stay at the Doubletree. Or you can go to hotels.com and go, find me the best rate for hotels.com, for Doubletree, for the Marriott, for the Superstar, for the Motel 86, I don't know, whatever. And it'll give you the best rates. That's what Voyager does. It, 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 it's a broker and it looks to all the best uh, exchanges and just says, which one of you has the cheapest? Great, we'll use you. And then we'll, we'll make a little bit of money on the spread, which I'm fine, I don't care. And that's what I use. And then of course, the, the, the next bigger, higher step, I got half on my nano ledger. So that's where I put things. And this might change as time goes on, especially with the uh, the exit strategy, which uh, you can check out that video with me with this stupid expression. And I just, you know, I just go through all of my price predictions and I talk about what I would do as far as uh, an exit strategy, because at some point it has to happen. So that's it. So look, uh, that might have gone a little bit long. I apologize, but uh, I had to get over this one. This is good. So if, if you want to uh, submit your portfolio for review is super easy. Just go to uh, danteacheskrypto.com. 
Uh, it's a free website. You can sign up or you just click on the contact button. You can find the web, forget how to get there. Uh, it's super simple. Just in the description of my videos, it says 100% free website, andrewscrypto.com. If you're like, nah, that sucks, I don't want to do that. Just go to uh, Twitter and just follow me on Twitter. And it's at, it's at News Asset. And just drop me a DM and I'll, I'll respond back to you. Hey, there's Coin Bureau. That guy's great. All right, so that's it. So look, if you made it this far, uh, you must have liked it a little bit. So hit the hit the uh, thumbs up, uh, subscribe because uh, I think you might want to listen to some other st type of stuff that I, I do. Uh, it's pretty time sensitive because we usually do a lot of news things. So uh, consider doing that, hitting that button. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, I mean, two more is going to pop up. I'm going to choose those today because there's a lot of information out there. And that is it. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. See you on the next one.